Welcome to the first installment of Chord by Chord, a series designed to build your understanding of harmony in the fretboard. Let's begin with one of the most common chords players usually learn on the guitar, C major, often referred to simply as C. I'll show you a bunch of different ways to play C on the fretboard, always with the note C at the bottom of the chord. In this series, I won't just be demonstrating chord shapes, I'll also be explaining how they're constructed. A C chord is actually a C major triad comprised of three notes, C, the root, E, the third, and G, the fifth. And if music theory isn't your thing, don't worry. There's still a lot you'll be able to learn from learning chord shapes and their names. With six strings and just three notes, guitarists typically double one or more notes in a chord. For example, the open C chord in example 2A has two C's and two E's. From the low A string up, the notes are C, E, G, C, E. Example 2B is just a variation on that open C chord shape, with the only difference being that you add a G on the high E with your pinky. The notes then are essentially the same except for the last one. So they go C, E, G, C, G. Now let's play three common closed voicings, as in no open strings, still with C as the root note on the low A string at the third fret as shown in examples 3A through C. Here's example 3A. And the notes are from the low A string, C, G, C, E, G. Example 3B is just a derivation of that chord where you just take away the high E string. This leaves us with the notes from the low A string, C, G, C, E. And lastly, in example 3C, you're playing that same original chord that we were playing in 3A, but this time you're just playing it on the top three strings. This leaves us with the notes C, E, and G. Example 4A sounds like this. And your notes are C, G, C, E, G, C. Then in example 4B, you're playing the same chord, but only on the top four strings. So then you have C, E, G, C. Practice these chord shapes until they're ingrained in your muscle memory, and you'll have not one, but a handful of C chord shapes at your disposal. And there are plenty of great songs that only make use of one chord. Two examples are Aretha Franklin's Chain of Fools and Creedence Clearwater Revival's Run Through the Jungle. Next time, I'll show you a bunch of different ways to play a G chord and how to use it in a progression with the C chord.